I'm going to take you through how we are maintaining our lightning arrester located at the top of the spire. Burj Khalifa is made of a unique mix of glass and stainless steel. So what stops lightning from hitting the Burj Khalifa from the sides? It's basically the unique system of lightning arrester that we have. It sends the charge in the air. It generates an opposite charge to attract the lightning into it. Our journey today starts with the OB lifts. These lifts are double deckers and they are one of the fastest in the world. They travel at 10 meters per second. Since the opening, we have traveled to a distance equivalent to the distance from Earth to Moon. In fact, we are on our way back now. Now we are shifting to another set of lifts. This lift, it is called BS1. It holds Guinness World Record of having the longest shaft. It can take five tons of uh, total load, which is equivalent to two SUVs. And we have so many stops that we could not, could not fit enough buttons here. That's why we kept the dial pad. Then we have to change the lift and we'll take another one that will take us to level 160. We have one more lift to take to level 166. Afterwards, we will continue climbing our way up. We have a nickname for this lift internally, which is the washing machine. The journey from the concourse level to the pinnacle back to the concourse level without counting the maintenance time will take us two hours. Afterwards, the journey starts with climbing up a bunch of uh, catwalks and monkey ladders until we reach up the spire. The minimum vertical climb the technician will have to perform is 80 meters. Now the technician is going to check uh, the batteries for the lighting arrester that generates that counter charge. And from the counter, you can see that we've been hit by lightning 10 times so far. The system now is safe and sound, and Burj Khalifa is ready for another winter.